Today we're going to take an existing Flex application and convert it to an Adobe Experience Services project. Why do this? Because by doing so, this places the application content under the control of the CRX repository where it can be much better managed. We can do this all by simply changing the project's properties. And to do so, we're going to start with a simple little test project that has uh, some attributes tests of the border on uh, Flex components. And to get started, we're going to open up the project properties. Once we've got the project properties open, we can go to the Adobe Data Services properties and check to enable the Content Repository Deployment Integration. This allows the project properties to be stored up onto the CRX server in the, in the folder we're going to specify. The workspace is by default set to CRX.default. Then we define the repository content folder. We always put things into content and we follow it with the project name dash debug. This name will also have to be coordinated with the flex build path later on. And we also need to double check and make sure that our RDS server is selected properly. And for that we want to have use the experience server. We can click and apply this and then go ahead and look at the flex build path properties. Once we have the build path properties open, we need to set our output folder URL. This is used by the run and debug configurations. And it's also used when the project is compiled. We'll place the um, output folder contents up into this output folder URL. By default, we're setting it to the CRX server, localhost, port 4502. We always put it into the content folder. And again, we use our project name dash debug. We can click OK on this and then go look at our run configuration. When we look at our existing run configuration, we can see that it was pointing to the local hard disk location of our project and running the HTML from that output folder. We need to change this to the content repository on CRX server. So since we're running off localhost, we'll change it to 127.001, port 4502 our content location that we specified earlier and of course trailing HTML. We can apply that and run it. We've launched our application and we can verify that it is now running up on the CRX server. We can verify this by looking at the URL and see that it's off localhost port 4502 instead of off the hard disk. We can see that the attributes still work. Our test is still valid. Everything seems to be working just fine. So we've just converted an existing Flex application to an experienced services application that's running on the CRX server. Thank you.